answered my plea You have saved my soul from death You are my strength and my song Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea A hearty welcome to each one of you, my dear brothers and sisters, to this Eucharistic celebration of love, peace and joy. Dear friends, we offer this Holy Eucharist for our senior citizens and our elderly brothers and sisters. We pray that the Lord may bless them with good health of mind, body and spirit. We also ask you, dear friends, to kindly help and support our channel with your financial assistance so that we continue to take the word to the world. Along with these intentions and requests, we also pray for the intentions of each one of you that you have placed before our Lord and Savior. We pray that the Lord may answer your prayers and petitions and bless you with his good health and blessings. Let us now begin this Holy Eucharist by signing ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, grant we pray that those you render capable of immortality by justifying them may by your guidance attain the fullness of glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16, verses 1 to 10. From Cilicia, Paul went to Derbe, and then on to Lystra. Here there was a disciple called Timothy, whose mother was a Jewish who had become a believer, but his father was a Greek. The brothers at Lystra and Iconium spoke well of Timothy and Paul, who wanted to have him as a traveling companion, had him circumcised. This was an account of the Jews in the locality where everyone knew his father was a Greek. As they visited one town after another, they passed on the decisions reached by the apostles and elders in Jerusalem with instructions to respect them. So the churches grew strong in the faith as well as growing daily in numbers. They traveled through Phrygia and the Galatian country, having been told by the Holy Spirit not to preach the word in Asia. When they reached the frontier of 
Mysia, they thought to cross it into Bithynia. But as the Spirit of Jesus would not allow them, they went through Mysia and came down to Troas. One night Paul had a vision. A Macedonian appeared and appealed to him in these words, Come across to Macedonia and help us. Once he had seen this vision, we lost no time in arranging a passage to Macedonia. Convinced that God had called us to bring them the good news. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Responsorial Psalm. Our response. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Cry out with joy to all the earth. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him singing for joy. Response. Cry out with joy to all the earth. Know that He the Lord is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Response. Cry out with joy to all the earth. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Response. Cry, cry out with joy to all, the, all the, earth. the earth. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord who hung for us upon the tree has risen from the tomb. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 15, verses 18 to 21. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will also keep yours. But all these things they will do to you on account of my name, because they do not know him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel passage that we have heard, Jesus makes it very clear to each one of us when we are persecuted, when we are harassed for our faith in Jesus, we are not to worry, we are not to think of anything because Jesus has told us very clearly that what they have done to him, they will do it the same for us. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, when we walk on the path which our Savior has taught us, when we forgive, when we love, when we walk the extra mile, when we do good, when we live our lives pure, all these things are not acceptable to the world. And therefore, the world knows only one way, and that is, to silence the person instead of allowing him to do good. And Jesus tells his disciples and each one of us that this is what they did to him and this is what they will do it to us as well. But what should be our response? Should I stop when someone persecutes me? 
Should I stop doing good when someone harasses me? What should be my response? And the response Jesus gives us in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5 verse 11. And Jesus says in the Beatitudes, Blessed are you when people insult you and persecute you and speak all kinds of evil against you because you are my followers. Be happy and glad for a great reward is kept for you in heaven. This is how they persecuted the prophets who lived before you. Our response should be this. Response is what Jesus wants us to be happy and glad rather than stop doing the good. As St. Paul says, never grow tired of doing what is good. May this Holy Eucharist give us the grace, give us the strength to continue to spread the good news of our Savior Jesus and more importantly be rooted in Christ so that we are never ever uprooted by the world. May God give us the grace and strength. Amen. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the Lord Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, 
and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church prayer throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Derek, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Francis de Sales, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy, thy will be done on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
spiritual communion pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your, your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and live Jesus. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Wishing each one of you a blessed day. Thank you, O Lord, your love is boundless. Thank you, your presence is our peace. Thank you, O Lord, for so much goodness. Thank you, your mercy is never seen. your spirit thank you for giving us your peace thank you oh lord your love is boundless thank you your presence is our peace thank you oh lord for so much goodness thank you for